Now we're going to take a look at another escape from the back. This is an uncommon escape, one that you don't see very often, because it relies on your opponent taking a double over grip. It's not very common because that's not a good grip, but when it happens, you need to be prepared. So Marty was smart enough to pull me back into a little bit of a pocket, and you notice he's got a double over grip. Sometimes, you know, your opponent gets the double unders, they get the double uh, over under, the seatbelt grip, and those are good grips. It's going to be difficult to do this escape. But there are times when you get your arms to the inside, your elbows are working to the inside of the calves, that you can work this escape very well. I need to stay very tight. Turn a little bit wide. I need to stay very tight, my heels into the ground, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse shrimp. I want to get my back as close to the floor as I can. Going with that same theory that we used before, if my back is on the floor, my partner is, or my opponent isn't on my back. So heels in, I reverse shrimp. Now notice, this elbow came to the inside. That is exactly what I want. I want to make sure to keep this nice and tight. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk this elbow or hand to the inside. Awesome. I've got good control here. I straighten that leg. I come in and I clear. Do not, under any circumstances, bring this hand down to clear that leg. If you do that, you're going to be in a bad way. They'll arm bar you, reverse triangle you, all that other kind of crazy nonsense that you don't want to happen. If you need to clear this leg, you can bring your knees together, you can bring your knee in, and you can clear that way. Awesome. Now I'm primed to go belly down. This arm right here is only going to come over to control the pants once my hips start to turn over. So I'm here, I start to turn my hips, I get control, and I belly down. I'm pelvis down, dominating that leg the whole time. Here is where people make the mistake. They made all of the right moves until they get here, and then they do something nuts like this, okay? Once we're laying on this leg, that gives us some domination, that gives us some options, that gives us some power, okay? Don't lift your pelvis. All I want you to do is drag your body over it. Once I have cleared that foot, now I can take that inside hand out and I can start to control the sleeve or come up over and try to bulldog them. I prefer the sleeve. From here, I'm going to continue walking my body over. Again, not lifting until I clear the thigh. Once I clear the thigh, I'm going to drive with my head into his rib cage. My driving with the head is what's going to be used to flatten him out. So, Marty started coming in. He's, he's giving me problems. I'm staying nice and tight. My arms are in. I'm going to start to reverse shrimp. Notice I got my elbow to the inside of his thigh. That's awesome. Now, from here, heels into the floor. I reverse shrimp again. Notice my shoulder and elbow have fallen into that pocket. Awesome, right? Now, this hand's going to cut the corner, and I'm pulling it in. His ankle is still on my hip. So what do I do? I bring my knees together. I, I turn to my side. I bring my knees together. Bring my knee in and open. Control here. Now I'm going to bring my hips over at the same time, right? Boom. Pelvis down. Keeping my pelvis pushing into the bottom of that ankle. From here, I walk. I walk. Control the sleeve. I walk. I walk. Now from here, I'm going to bulldoze. I get up on my toes. You only elevate the hips. Once you have control of the sleeve and your pelvis has cleared that whole leg, don't elevate your hips before that or you're going to give them back positions that they don't need. Marty's on my back. I started defending very well. I was keeping good posture forward. My elbows were in. I dig my heels. I start to drop my hips. All right? I'm halfway there. I'm not all the way. I move again. I get that shoulder to the floor. Awesome. Hand comes in and I control. My other hand comes over. I control the pants. Now the ankle's giving me problems. It doesn't matter if the ankle's really tight or not. We will straighten that leg. We will bring that knee in. We'll bring it up and we clear. Now from here, I've got good control. I'm going to belly down. My pelvis is nice and tight. From here, walk, walk, control. Walk, walk, bulldoze. It is so important to keep your hips low. You want to try and get your shoulder and your elbow into that pocket as soon as possible, digging in with your heels, reverse shrimping. Hand goes in, cool. You start to worry about clearing that leg. Again, never reaching down. Once we clear that leg, my hand controls at the pants, I belly down, and keeping my pelvis nice and low, I slide out. If you follow those steps, you should have a lot of success with this.